All right, my man. I got the fog rolling. Pun intended. All right, so you'll need to download the files if you haven't already. Um, when you go in to download them, it opens up a Google Drive for me. Just go ahead and click your uh, download button there. It should download it. It'll download it as a uh, JS file. You will need the fog and overlay and also the basic module. Once you have those downloaded, you will need to install them. So we're going to go go to your project folder wherever your game is, game's main folder is, and then go into JavaScript, go into plugins, and then that's where you're going to copy or paste your two files, your basic module and your fog and overlay. From there you're going to go into RPG Maker and we're going to go into Plugin Manager. From here, now we need to have the basic module on top of any other VE module that we put in here so always make sure you install that first. To install one all you have to do is double click an empty spot and then drop down this menu here you'll be able to find it. Alright, from there you can go ahead and uh, go into the fog and overlay and down here it kind of gives you a uh, rundown of how to use it. It's actually a little bit more difficult than the rundown in here but you know. So they give you a couple examples here. I just took this example here and copied it. And then they want you to put it in a note box inside the maps note box. I couldn't find it for God, it's 2 10 a.m. now. I couldn't find it for a few hours. But turns out all you have to do is come over to here to your map and go ahead and click edit. And right here in the middle is your note box. That's where you will paste your foggy effect. Now you will need to create a fog file, fog picture. So I just made these two as their one's a little bit darker than the other one, or not darker, but more fog than the other one. And you will need to also inside your main game folder go into image and create a folder named fogs and put your fog inside of there. Once you have that all done, you will need to change this name to your fogs, your the name of your file for your fog. We can go ahead and go OK. And that's basically that. Now you, when you run the game, it should uh, show the fog overhead. There are a few other settings, like making it show up in battles and stuff like that. I can go through that with you. And this is what it looks like on my system with the fog file that I created. Alright, well, oh, I just went into battle. <laughs> oh, I was unable to escape. I didn't want to do this, actually. Okay. Alright, anyway, uh, if you do need help, let me know.